everyone, it's Van Wu from Vietnam. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna meet with Kiki, who is Japanese content creator. And we're gonna talk about his life here in Vietnam, what he likes, what he dislikes. And we're gonna meet at a very cool and quiet coffee shop called The Mockingbird. And if you want to find out more about Vietnamese culture, hidden jams, and local food, don't forget to follow my channel and visit my website at whatthefuvn.com. All right, I gotta go now because I know Japanese people are very punctual. Let's go. Hello. Hi, Ann. How are you? How are you? That's good. How are you? I can't believe this is our first time meeting each other, and I know that you um, DM me on Facebook two years ago. Yeah, two years when ago. I still had my two channels, mm -hmm. right? The yes. Vietnamese and yeah. the English one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, Kiki has been on YouTube for a while. How long have you been on YouTube? Uh, I've been doing like. Two, uh, three years already. Three years. Yes. Wow. So, can you introduce a little bit about yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Kazuki, but uh, Vietnamese people call me Kiki uh, because Kiki is more easy to remember and easy to say. But Vietnamese people often uh, misunderstand my name is Suzuki. Suzuki is because, like a car brand. Right? Yeah, car brand. And uh, now I'm thirty. 36 years old before I worked for a restaurant in Hanoi uh, but now I quit my job and now I'm doing YouTuber in Vietnam mm, I like to make interview video on the street or with YouTuber in Vietnam I was like quite shocked that your content is interviewing people on the street because Japanese people they usually don't bother others <laughs> and they don't like use a camera and interview yeah. others so I'm like oh this Japanese guy is very interesting yeah. he goes out his way to interview people yeah. so like was it living in Vietnam help you mm. being more confident and more open to oh people? yeah yeah that's right yeah. <laughs> after living in, living in Vietnam I feel like more my character is more open like a more you don't need to hesitate a lot like talk to stranger easily also helping people it's i don't need to hesitate mm. Mm. yeah don't forget to follow his channel i'm gonna leave it right yeah, here please. Yeah. so i know that you've been here five years now mm. in vietnam yes. right so uh, what do you like the most in vietnam i do like vietnamese nature than japanese nature oh yeah why so i think because of mm, rice field <laughs> I, he I, loves rice food. Yeah, I love rice food. So you gotta go to Sapa or Hazan. Last month also I've been Mukan Chai. Do you know? Yes. Do, have you been there? Yes. Did you go in September? When yes, they have yeah, like beautiful rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so beautiful rice, rice, rice field. field. And especially food is so good. Oh. Food. The food? <laughs> yeah, food. What, like, what did you like there? What is it? The grill? Che, che razi. Oh, bamboo shoot. Yeah, bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoot. Um, Just mambo right, right? Oh, mang. Oh, yes. Mang sao. Oh, yes. Mang sao. <laughs> I tried like a kwai, kwai hell, grilled pig, like small one, small. Oh, lợn uh, sữa. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow, he's lucky. I haven't even tried that. <laughs> mm. And also every time I travel like a local area, I feel more relaxed mm. and uh, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> You feel very welcome, mm. very emotional when the local treat you just like family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, I met one of family in Mukanchai. Their kids like speak English so good, and they was very good, like a more like a native people, <laughs> native native wow. speaker. They live in local area, but they play guitar and uh, they have MacBook for study. Also, it was like a surprise. What? <laughs> well, you speak right? English so good, but but you're living here. Last week also, I actually I was like uh, sick. Mm. I, I was sick and uh, I I couldn't eat a lot, two three days, and after that, oh I feel oh now I feel better. So I went to go to eat bumbofue, and uh, when I eat half of bumbofue, like I I feel like a dizzy, dizzy, oh, oh. and I I don't know why. And uh, I I need help, but or oh, I don't know anyone, <laughs> so I just say uh, I just ask uh, the stuff where is toilet. Oh. And after that, I you passed uh, out. Mm, yeah, pass out. Oh just, just maybe just one one minute. Pass out for one minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one minute. And then what happened? And uh, after I woke up, 
and um, many four or five people said, "Oh, I'm Kosa Hong Kong. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to die. One up, one up. They give me water and uh, they they give me gin Sugar. ginger tea. Ginger tea. Uh, ginger yes, tea. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, uh, one day, one day. <laughs> And uh, I felt like mm, it's quite different yeah. from Japan because if I like uh, pass out in the restaurant, I think just a few people help me. But in Vietnam, many people help me. Yeah, right. Yeah. They don't hesitate, like a help. Right. Mm -hmm. don't, they don't like... like you, the family member. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think, oh, it's, you know, it's quite different. <laughs> and one day, I thought you were inviting me to do this. No, no, no. I'm happy, right? I'm happy, right? I'm happy, right? But I feel like you were not quite too sweet. No, no. But I feel like happy, yeah. Yeah. They thought that you like low blood sugar. That's why you need to drink sugar. Same thing happened to me when I went to Dalat, I think, by myself. And then um, the car was very shaky. Oh, and I, I got car sick as oh, well. Yeah. And then I wanted to throw up and I didn't feel well. And then the lady next to me, she was like very caring. They were oh. like, okay, this is a bag. Go <laughs> up here, I'll hold it for you. <laughs> and then she would give me like the, the candy. Candy? Yeah, the candy and mm. then the, the mint mm. to help with my headache. Mm. Yeah, and then she's like, are you okay? You can throw up, it's fine. You can, yeah, like I have a pillow, you can use it. And she would give everything to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like even though I'm mm. Vietnamese. No, I'm Vietnamese. Like, 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 oh, I'm not used to this. Because mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I was in the US, um, everyone just like take care of the, themselves. Mm. Like him or herself. Mm. Yeah, like if I'm sick, I'm, people know, but like they don't care that much. Mm. You know, like, oh, how are you? Are you really tired? Mm. Do you need medicine and that's pretty much it. Especially like uh, older people more helpful yeah. and uh, they don't hesitate. Mm. Oh. Mm. So that's I the like. reason why you love living in Vietnam? Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> that's why he's living here for five years now. Yeah, now I prefer living here mm. Mm. Okay. than Japan. Mm. What mm. what kind of food do you like the most in Vietnam? Uh, for sot mang. Do you know so have, you, yeah, have you tried the pho? Sot mang? Yes, mm. yes. I did a video about the pho. Oh. With uh, Will, still be fun. So good. Yeah, 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 so good. So, um, when you first came here five years ago, did you have any culture shock? Yes, I think I had a lot of culture shock. Okay, one is um, blackout. I surprised because Vietnamese people like uh, working just normal, even blackout. They don't surprise. Oh, mat mat dien rồi. Mat dien. Oh, like no. Mm, okay. <laughs> And then they use just light smartphone oh, and, okay. and, and just working normally. Uh, second culture shock is it's about trash. Mm. Do you know Chonzong Bridge? Chonzong, yes. And called Chonzong. Mm -hmm. And so I often across the bridge. Sometimes I saw like people throw it away, yeah. <laughs> throw garbage, riding motorcycle and just. Yeah. No, I was so shocked. How? Very shocked. Yeah, how could they throw trash like that? Because, because I I feel Vietnamese love country. Like in Japan, I I don't feel not so much like a Japanese people love love Japan. <laughs> <laughs> but Japan is so clean and people follow the rules. That's normal for for them. <laughs> yeah, we had the last video that I told you I wanted to go to Japan this mm. year. Uh, because when I first did my YouTube channel, I watched a lot of like walking in the rain in Japan mm. and then it's like the road is so clean and it's so quiet and I wanted to do it in Vietnam mm. and I tried to do it in the alley in Vietnam but then like there's a lot of honking <laughs> oh, yeah. and then there's a lot of like um, trash on the road as well mm. so I'm like okay I don't think that I can do it. Also, many people like uh, have interested solve problem like uh, trash. Many young people, yeah. mm, young people want to want to change. In ten years, I think it will be change mm. more, more better. Mm. Okay. Also, it was surprise me. Mm. Okay. Since you've been here for five years and then you recently just went back to Japan, do you have any reverse culture shock? Reverse culture <laughs> shock. Uh, I think Japan is so 
quiet. When I when I go back to Japan, I feel no one say anything. Like no one say <laughs> quiet. <anything>. <laughs> uh, when I live in Vietnam, it's easy to speak with um, stranger. Yeah. Right. Like, mm. How about uh, like um, the differences between Japanese and Vietnamese culture? Because I wanted to go to Japan, mm. so I watched a lot of Japanese show, mm. and I have read a lot about Japanese culture. Mm. Uh, it's like. Um, Japanese people are very punctual, means they're on time, they very um, self-disciplined and they mm. don't want to bother uh, people, mm. they just want to try themselves first yeah. and they don't want to bother other people. Is that true? Uh, it's... Uh, I don't know how to say it. It's, it's also yeah, true. Mm. It's true. What Compared do you think? to Vietnamese people, like uh, they also they want to have their time and their private. I think they need more pressure of uh, Mary, <laughs> like, like Vietnam. <laughs> like exactly. Yeah, more more raise raise up birth rate. <laughs> Like the whole relatives just push you like yeah, yeah, push. when when are you gonna get married you a <laughs> yeah yeah like um yeah I got pushed a lot too oh, all really? right yeah it's like when are you gonna get married and everything okay so yeah. in in Japan it's not a thing that yeah like like my my parents they they don't say anything about like uh, when do you get married like something but but I know they want to have like uh, uh, grandchildren but they don't they don't force me yeah. Mm. In here, like even a stranger can ask you questions like, are you married yet? Mm. It's not because they nosy. I mean, they're nosy, but then sometimes they just wanted to match make you with someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they wanted to find someone like uh, probably their cousin, their nephew, their niece, mm -hmm. yeah, to match with you so you guys can date and eventually have kids. I, I got shocked at the same time. I was very happy mm -hmm. that like people actually care for you. Uh, sometimes it's seen as being nosy, yeah, mm. but it's, I feel like it's a Vietnamese culture. We oh, like the yeah. strong sense of community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the more members in the family, the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what about the dating culture? What's the difference between dating Japanese girl versus dating a Vietnamese girl? Oh, different culture. Mm. Uh, boys always have to like uh, pick girlfriend up. From, from their house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Also, before I work for restaurant and uh, and uh, the staff always like uh, pick girlfriend up and uh, after that come to work. His girlfriend uh, finish their work and uh, also boyfriend come to pick girlfriend up and. Uh, Ooh, I see a lot in Vietnam too because I talked to some of my friends too. One of my friends got mad because her boyfriend didn't pick her up. And I'm like, what? don't you have legs? Or like, don't you have a motorbike? <laughs> yes. She's like, no, 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 that's his responsibility. So <laughs> I got shocked too. Like, He's responsible. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a cultural thing too because girls like to be protected and like to be cared for in Vietnam. Before I, I had a Vietnamese girlfriend mm -hmm. and uh, we met on Facebook. Uh, I met her at Dalat, Dalat Airport. I lived in Hanoi and uh, she lived in Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. So you meet in the, the middle. Yeah, I, mean, and I, was, I was shocked because when I met her, I, she, she had flower for me. Oh, she has flowers? Yeah, she has flower and uh, she gave it to me. Like, what? Oh my god, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why Vietnamese girl is so romantic? <laughs> right oh, did you give her something? No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Why? It's also a first, first meeting. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? It's a first meeting. Yeah, first meeting. But I don't She's know why. She's very polite though, to be honest. So as the foreigners, do you face any challenges um, of living in Vietnam? First year, I, I started to work for restaurant mm -hmm. because before I, I couldn't speak Vietnamese, Vietnamese a lot. Uh, but I have to communicate with them. So language barrier. Yeah, language barrier, language barrier. Also, I have to communicate with a uh, foreigner customer. But Vietnamese staff must still talk to me. And uh, are you okay? Mm, do you have like uh, some problem? And uh, yeah, I, I feel mm, so so touch my heart. Mm. Mm. They ask, but I'm still close. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because yeah. Japanese I, people are always like, I don't. Care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> to... I need to solve it by myself. Yeah, yeah, I feel like oh. that. Even in Vietnam, I got that reverse culture shock too because mm. many people, they need help, but they 
they just very shy to show their mm. feeling and ask for help. It's not like we don't, they don't want to bother you. It's just they very shy. Ah, like they yeah. don't know how to ask, mm. and they just afraid that um, the other people will make fun of you. Mm. Yeah, but then oh. for Japanese culture, it's like no, I don't want to bother you. I can do it mm. by myself first, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, do you miss good. anything in Japan? Sometimes I miss family. Uh, other than that, I don't, I don't miss anything in Japan, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because, because I prefer Vietnamese food than Japanese food. Yeah. Mm. I don't know why, but Vietnamese food is more... Flavorful. Mm, yeah, also, yeah, food is good. In Japan, it's difficult to eat like a breakfast, like, a, like a, I mean, you can eat you can buy breakfast in Japan, but like a only convenience store, like gyudon shop, gyudon, uh, beef bowl shop, like just a few things. But in Vietnam, there are so many breakfasts. Mm. And uh, sometimes from 5 a.m., from 6 a.m., so early. Mm. It's very convenient. Yeah, because I'm like a morning person. Mm, get up early and uh, go to sleep early. <laughs> yeah. So you see like, all people would like do exercise in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. Mm, that's why I I like living in Hanoi. Also, Hanoi people like uh, morning. Many people morning. Process. Early birds. Yeah. yeah, early bird. Yeah. So, would you recommend digital nomads to live in Vietnam? Yeah, of course. I think it's for nomad people. Cost of living is cheaper than Japan, and uh, yeah, a lot also cheaper. yeah, a lot of cheaper than Japan. Mm and uh, people friendly and um, also many people like uh, interested in Japanese culture so for me it's easy to make a uh, friend mm, here Vietnam. Mm. and also I like traveling too traveling in Vietnam too mm. Mm. oh I want to ask about the food because I watched like Paolo from Tokyo, Paolo um, from Tokyo. do you know him? Yeah, yeah, I know that. yeah he always show the behind the scene of the mm. food procedure and I feel like Japanese people are very um, careful and very strict about the food, mm. right? But do you have any problems with like the food hygiene here in Vietnam? <laughs> <laughs> yes, before I, I had. Uh, do you know nem chua? Nem chua, oh, nem chua. Fer fermented uh, pork. Fermented pork, yes. I had nem chua a third time and uh, in two times I had stomach ache. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so now I I want to eat, but I'm scared, scared. to eat nem chua. I, I feel like when I was in the US too, I was surprised that a lot of people were allergic to peanut. Oh. And yeah, peanut? Mm. and then many things. Oh. And then in Vietnam, you know, like at the young age, because I was allergic to crab. Yeah, Pe like before oh. when I was younger, whenever I ate crab, oh. I had like itchy throat. My lips were swollen like Kim Kardashian. Mm. And then my mom was, wasn't worried about it. She's like, yeah, just eat it. It's gonna go away. And then when I get older, <laughs> it's really go away. Like I don't have any symptom now. So yeah, now, I now like, you can eat, eat, you yes. can eat everything. Yeah. So oh. I feel like Vietnamese parents kind of prepare for the kids, <laughs> <laughs> for, uh, like away from all the allergy. <laughs> Actually, studies show that too. Like um, Indonesia and some Southeast Asian country, mm -hmm. kids are less allergic to food mm -hmm. because they got exposed to many food and many things. Um, mm -hmm. in a young age mm -hmm. so yes, mm. maybe that's why <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah yeah oh my god it was so interesting to know the Japanese culture and if you want to see Kiki's life in Vietnam and his interesting interviews uh, with Vietnamese people don't forget to follow his channel I'm gonna put it right here but yeah thank you Ang, for being here yeah, with me yes. today and I have learned so much about Japan and I might go next month <laughs> since the yen is so cheap yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank yeah, you. you have to go. Yeah, mm. and um, yeah, maybe I'll see you in Japan. Yeah. Or maybe I'll I'll see you again. We're gonna go to a Japanese mm. restaurant. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe to both of our channel for our next episode. Alright, bye. Yeah, okay, bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye.